So after the CERN uh, uh, started uh, exploding those particles, uh, Hello. there's this new dimension. How are you doing? And now I'm uh, looking at the second dimension right now. Uh, I can see, I can see some some heat. All these people are. In, there's a Hello. screen in front of me. How is that? It's really cool. Let's let's come over here. Well, I was going to. That's awesome. I can click. No, I can't click on people, but. I'm navigating and they have an augmented screen right here. Potentially the best augmented screen I've seen so thus far. And uh, we're here with a Dacry. Dacry. So, hello, so who are you? Hi, I'm, um, I'm Pierre. I'm working at Dacry uh, in Can you Dublin. Take my helmet? I'm yes, I'm of course. Too. I don't want to break it. <laughs> it's all right. All right. You're not going to break it. Yeah. So, you got it right there. Yes. So, what are we looking at here? Looking at uh, augmented reality for industries. Basically, it's a smart helmet for. Uh, different types of, of, of yeah. actually purpose. So it could be assembly line, it could be work instruction. So as you said, it's the biggest screen on the market, 45 degrees of diagonal. Did you that's, like it, that's Nicholas? That's really fantastic. So what's going on? Uh, 45 degree diagonal, what resolution? Uh, 720p. So for HD. each eye? Yeah, for each eye, exactly. And uh, what is the micro display? It's a, uh, I mean, what do you mean micro display? Is a micro display in there, a projector? Or? Yeah, no, yeah, it's projector. So, yeah, you have two lenses, project directly into your eyes, exactly. Is it a DLP? Uh, no. Is a I can't tell you. Coping I can't micro tell you. I'm just a, okay, so there's this guy over there, they want to try it, right? Do you want, do you want to try? Yes. You want to try? Please no, go ahead. No, the lady I want to Please go ahead. Try. All right. She's Hi. the best model we can have. Can I jump in? So who are you? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Are you the CEO? No, I no, no. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm the marketing director for Daiquiri. Yeah, you are what? Marketing director for Daiquiri. And uh, so, is this product yes, uh, on the market? Yes, so the Daiquiri Smart Helmet is on the market since um, Q4 last year. Uh, it's a developer edition at the moment. And the idea is uh, that people can get augmented reality in the industrial setting where they can things can happen. In the real, how does it, how does it work? Exactly, yeah. So you, you, you're pretty correct in terms of what you said. So it is, uh, I think you, you, you pointed out quite uh, correctly, it is an industrial product. It's aimed for a B2B um, industrial environment where the worker will be able to, uh, to wear it. It's, it's actually a hard hat and a safety helmet. Um, and then they'll be able to access um, information on in an augmented reality format. So layering information on top of what they're seeing. In terms of case study, what you can imagine was the uh, was the helmet. You have work instruction. Uh, so one of the demo that we have here is if I'm wearing the, the helmet on me and I'm seeing the um, uh, the, the pipe, well, it looks totally, totally normal at the moment. But then the helmet is detecting that there's pressure difference between the top and the bottom, which basically means that you know one of these two filter has an issue, and, I, and it will tell me exactly how to replace it. So can we go close here? What sensors are in here? What, what are you able to see? What's going on up there? Oh, the sensors. Okay. Uh, you've got the uh, Intel Grill Sense camera. No, uh, I the <laughs> regular camera right in the middle. So basically, yeah. we have to call someone, uh, and then you've got an infrared camera so right on. Top. Dublin, infrared and, London, and real sense okay. and regular and regular and what's the what's the hardware is it an arm processor so the hardware is um, uh, thank you yeah. perfect yeah uh, can we just All right. go in, can we go inside yeah you won't see that much yeah. inside so there is uh, there's a PCB somewhere yeah so these these are the uh, uh, the screen layer on, on, on AR and then all the processing the voice and, 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 and all the computing so is done at the back. Do you talk about what's inside for the processing and everything? Sure. Uh, so inside we've got um, an Intel chip at the back, and as I said, from the camera, it's uh, it's Intel as well. So there's a um, and is this in production? Yeah. Uh, yes, it is. So you can actually buy it today uh, as a, as a developer edition, and then we've just released the. Uh, the um, the lighter version, which is the Dakar Smart Glasses. So this is uh, does the same. It does the same. Really? Except, so can you... Sure. Except it's not it's not a hard hat. It do, but it doesn't work, right? I'm so, at the moment, no. It, no, this is just a, a demo model. Is it going to be that light, that thin, that small? No. So again, it's a it's going to be that format. Um, in terms of the of the size of the of the weight, sorry, it's going to be a little bit more heavier because that's just plastic. There's no hardware in there. Yet. And there's going to be uh, Intel again here, or ARM, or you don't know. Here, ah, the belt. Here on the belt. It's actually going on. Uh, with the battery uh, and then a uh, connection for the Actually, a lot of people are buying Daiquiri. To Type-C. Yeah. And uh, this is 
just just right. display and this is how we call the processing right? thing. Yep. And then you have the, the real sense on here. Exactly, so you've got the camera. You've got the camera here on top. Barely see them through the uh, tinted glasses. The only difference between the two from a camera standpoint, this one has a thermal camera, that one won't have a thermal camera. So what is Dacry? So Dacry is a um, hardware and software augmented reality company. We're based in Los Angeles. Uh, we've been in, in business since 2010-2011. Uh, and then uh, these have been in development for over two years in, in R&D, and now we're really proud to having them on the market. And you're right here at the Canonical booth. Uh, why are you here? There's running Ubuntu in there? Uh, Can Canonical is one of our partners uh, in terms of uh, software integration, and that's why they're uh, inviting us to, um, to be here. So there's a HoloLens, there's a Google Glass, uh, there's all these things, and you're the best, or how does it work? Uh, you said it, I didn't. Uh, we, we're, the, uh, we're the only one that is truly in mind as, as being an industrial product. So this, is a, this will be a certified hard hat, safety glasses equipment that you can actually wear in environment. No one on the market can actually do that at the moment. That's cool. You have some demo videos. Uh, there was that one. Can we scroll forward? Or there was another one? Uh, it's, it's, it's on the it's loop. loop. Uh, so yeah, it's not connected. It's actually um, yeah. loaded on the loop. But yeah. I can send that to you as well. No problem. And uh, so you have all kinds of scenarios. And how much it costs? Right. So scenarios. Let's start with scenarios first. Uh, so as I said, work instruction in terms of what you need to do at some point and exactly how to do it. Um, safety from a thermal standpoint where you can do temperature reading. Um, calling an expert, if you're stuck on a job, uh, instead of going away and then having to come back, you can call someone and talk to someone directly and you can see what you're seeing. Uh, in terms of cost, you're looking at 15,000 US dollar for the developer edition. Uh, that gives you a seat to the developer uh, program, a helmet, but also support from, uh, from Dacry in terms of helping you to develop the, um, the application. Do you have lots of uh, customers? Uh, we do, yeah, lots of interest. Really, lots of people are joining this? Yes, a lot of interest from uh, from uh, from industrial company, absolutely. You might be providing the best, uh, right there is some uh, augmented... Uh, there is some but, work, uh, work instruction. But some of these things might require, so there's thermal sensor. Yep. Is that what infrared does? Yeah, so infrared will actually will actually show you the, the different the different temperature around you. Uh, there's actually a video of that uh, a little bit later. And but you could potentially add more sensors, no? <laughs> you could, yes. People need more sensors. How do they add more stuff? Well, you already have you already have pretty much everything that you need from a sense from a yeah. sensor point of view. Uh, there's there's nothing that you can actually add. Uh, this is what we see. This is yes, what I saw. Exactly. I saw this. So this in front of me. I saw people moving around, and when they're moving, I mean, people are hot. So I saw a bunch of red people. Yeah, so there you go. So his hand was kind of like a yellowish color, uh, which is a good thing. If it would be blue, it means that it would probably be dead or a zombie. Um, nice. That's awesome. Okay. Right. That's cool. But how much is that going to be? 5,000. 5,000. For what? Again, developer edition. Developer edition. Yeah. But when is it going to be mass produced for under $1,000? So it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be mass produced uh, towards mid of the year for this one. We haven't done the release date for the for the for the glasses yet, and the price hasn't been fixed yet on the so commercial product. Hopefully uh, affordable. This is kind of consumer. No, no, no. no. At the moment, we're purely looking at uh, industrial B two B.